What's up, everybody? Thank you so much for hanging with us here on First Take. He's Stephen A. Smith. That is Max Kellerman. I'm you. Molly Karam. We got it. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's go. I got an attitude. Let's go. Let's okay. go. Every second counts. Coming up, fresh off a Super Bowl victory in their parade in Boston. We'll have a bunch of Patriots players stopping by. Can't wait to get into that game on Sunday night with them. But we start with some serious trolling and subliminals from the Zen master. Phil Jackson responding to a Bleacher Report column detailing the Anthony Jackson dynamic and questions Anthony's desire by concluding that Jackson's Knicks, quote, can't want for Anthony what he doesn't want deeply enough for himself. This is just the latest public critique from Jackson of Anthony. Phil and his rings also taking a Twitter with this tweet. Bleachers ding almost rings the bell, but I learned you don't change the spot on a leopard with Michael Graham in my CBA days. Then the New York Daily News back page, they got in on the fun with Twid hits the fan. Stephen A, please break this down for me. Is Phil trying to get rid of Mello? Or is the man trying to get rid of himself? I think it's both. Um, if he ended up going first, he would be happy because he gets to get money without working, which some would argue he's already been doing for the last two and a half years. The man is atrocious as an executive. It's just that simple uh, because he's not a leader of men, not the leader of men that we knew to be as an 11 time champion. His behavior is juvenile. His behavior is unprofessional. His behavior is disgraceful. And if this were a player, we would be we would be vilifying oh, him sure. the world over. What Phil Jackson is doing is so egregious. Uh, I, I think it's a fireable offense. And more, and more importantly, I'm incredibly disappointed with James Dolan because James Dolan usually does not like his, his organization making headlines with this kind of stuff. As much as critical as you can be, as critical as I can be, to James Dolan from time to time. The one thing that is consistent about him is the fact that he's not down with this kind of, uh, this kind of, uh, of public displays. That's not who he is. And so Phil Jackson is sort of violating his code of ethics to some degree. Now let's get specific. Does Phil Jackson want Carmelo going? Absolutely. Is Phil Jackson trying to force Carmelo Anthony out of New York City? Absolutely. Here's why I put Phil wanting to leave up there with Melo, wanting to push Melo out the door. Because if Melo were to be gone, then supposedly that starts a rebuilding process. To start a rebuilding process gives the indication that Phil Jackson is looking forward to working. And I don't believe he is looking forward to working. I think he wants the money, as numerous sources told me on many occasions, Max. He never wanted the job. He used to laugh at Dolan behind his back. He said, the man just keeps throwing more money at me to be fair, time and time, and time again. To be fair, who doesn't laugh at James Dolan either in his face? I, 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 well, Isaiah Thomas doesn't laugh at him. Steve Mills no, doesn't laugh yes, at him. But I'm just I'm saying. He's a good guy. Since, since, since we could be technical. But in the end, what it comes down to is Melo didn't bring Joakim Noah with a four year, $72 million deal. Noah didn't sign, I'm sorry, Phil Jack, uh, Carmelo didn't sign Courtney Lee to 50 million over four years. He didn't do those two moves at the expense of having D Wade in a New York Knicks uniform, which could have happened if Phil Jackson used that money judiciously. judiciously. Carmelo Anthony did not hire. Derek Fisher as the coach who had no experience whatsoever. Carmelo Anthony did not push Mike Woodson out the door, a name that doesn't get nearly enough recognition. He's an job. assistant coach with the Clippers right now. He was the head coach of the New York Knicks. They won 54 games. The Atlantic Division crown, catching the division crown for the first time in 13 years. These were all moves made by Phil Jackson. And Max, here's the bottom line. Phil Jackson is trying to find a scapegoat to cover over and gloss over the stuff that he did. He is trying to pass the buck with accountability, and his target is Carmelo Anthony. And Carmelo Anthony, from what I'm told, is furious. You understand? He should be. His family, his, his friends, he has all, right to be. all yeah. telling them, be cool, be cool, be cool, play this. They're supposed don't, to be on the same team. Don't take the bait. But Carmelo is furious. And I said it, well, I'm gonna say it, what I said on Sports Center, I'm going to end it by saying this. I cannot emphasize this enough. And I'm looking into the camera. Carmelo Anthony does not like this man. This is not some situation where, oh, it's a little disagreement. Carmelo Anthony does not like this man. It has to sever. As long as Phil's going to be there, Carmelo has to go. 
nor should he like Phil Jackson, the way Phil Jackson's treated Carmelo. You know, it's easy. You and I will debate Carmelo, and I think he's overrated, and you think he's rated properly or whatever it is, and it seems like I'm anti-Carmelo. I'm not anti-Carmelo. Carmelo's an excellent player. I don't think he's a top-10 player, but he's an excellent player, a great player even. He'll be in the Hall of Fame. He'll deserve it. Um, the, if by all accounts, a good dude has given what he has to the city of New York, to the Knicks franchise, has the best intentions there, doesn't deserve this. The question as to whether Phil is trying to get rid of Carmelo or himself, I think is clearly Phil's trying to get rid of himself. And I'll tell you why. First, if you want to get rid of Carmelo Anthony, if you really want to trade him and rebuild, you want stuff for him. Yeah. I mean, Phil's been terrible. Gave away Tyson Chandler, got nothing back. Used Amon Shumpert, who was cheap and considered a good commodity, to leverage himself out of J.R. Smith, who it turns out is still good, but wanted to get rid of a, actually a reasonable contract for J.R. Smith. Didn't really get anything back for that. Signed Joe Kim Noah to a terrible deal. You know, all those things. He doesn't get value for his assets, and he, he's made bad decisions. If you really want to move Carmelo, but I would do what any sensible person would do. You'd sit down with Porzingis and Carmelo. You say, you are the future. We're obviously not ready to win yet. This is what we need to do. This man has to be, meaning Carmelo, the centerpiece of the offense. We want to get as much pack for you as possible. In return, you know, we're going to run the offense through you. Your stats are going to look great. We're going to try and win as much as possible. Make, make it look as good as possible. Inflate the asset. You want to go to Cleveland or L.A.? You know, we think we can get Kevin Love from Cleveland. Or maybe we could even get Blake Griffin from L.A. He's going to be a free agent. Things haven't always been so smooth there. Uh, heard a lot, all those kind of things. Maybe we could even dream big like that. That's what you would do if you're really trying to get rid of Carmelo. That You try to talk him out of the no-trade deal, yeah. not try to force his hand. What you don't do is deflate the asset by telling the world yeah, how bad he is. Yeah, that's where I'm lost. Wouldn't you be building now, him up of yeah, if, you're, if you're trying to trade him? Right. He's, what Phil is trying to do is get fired because he's about half the way, way through with that $60 million deal. He'd like the rest of the $30 million without having to work, it seems to me. And what's the tip-off? The tip-off is the Kevin Ding article in Bleacher Report. And for yesterday we were talking about it. it seems like someone in the Knicks front office probably planted that. When Phil Jackson tweets the next day, Kevin Ding almost rings the bell. <laughs> Does he think he's being slick? Is he trying to throw everyone off the scent by thinking, but, but we're, now we're all thinking, oh, I guess he didn't, he wasn't the source for Kevin Ding because Ding didn't get it completely right. That is the most ham-handed any observer who is savvy at all from a distance is looking at that and going, oh, Phil is the source. So, so why would, Phil is not stupid. He's doing things in broad daylight to get himself fired. He's not stupid. But what I think you're not giving enough credence to is his arrogance. Phil Jackson is so arrogant. He believes he's so above the fray that everyone else are mere peons compared to him. I know this for a fact because of how other executives and other, you know, front office executives, coaches and the like in the league don't like him because of how aloof he is and has been when it comes to them. They look at him and they say, who the hell does he think he is? Because they detest the fact that he's revered as this 11 time champion. He got MJ in his prime with Pippen on the come up. He had Shaq in his prime with Kobe on the come up. He had Kobe in his prime with Gasol on the come up. Phil Jackson is the luckiest coach in NBA history. You could sit up there and talk about Red Eye back because he had the Bill Russell, the Bob Cousy's, and everybody else, but he kind of built that because the NBA was a different game. Was at he the also time. one of the greatest cool. coaches in NBA cool. history? Yes. So, so he's both yeah. of the luckiest listen, and listen, among the me greatest. Me personally, I take nothing away from Phil Jackson, the coach. I think Phil, I think there's something to be said for knowing not to mess it up. And I think Phil Jackson deserves a boatload of credit for that. But how he treated people along the way is well documented. Just ask around the NBA. He's not particularly well liked. He doesn't care. Let's be clear about that. He got his own clique and no one else really, really matters. But it, it, it's relevant from the perspective that when I, this is what this is one of the things that I've always held against Phil. And I'm sure Phil was mad at me because he walked by me without without answering a question one year back in the day after he wrote a book on Kobe. I called him out on it. Here's why I called them out on it. You win championships. You decide you're stepping away from the game, and then you write a book about Kobe. To me, that's a betrayal. It's similar to what I believe George Call did. And I like George Call, but I don't believe you do that. One and I think thing. Phil did that, and then when he was coming back, 
Kobe was willing to mend those fences because after Phil was you gone, they weren't winning. Kobe and, wants to win and, championships. And, and he put winning ahead of it, which gives and elevates a level of credence with Phil as a coach. Yes. But it also highlights him as a person. And it highlights him as an executive who doesn't the have to coach. only other time. That's you, what like, I'm saying. Talk saying that Phil Jackson's lucky, lucky like Doug Collins. A lot, of, a lot of other coaches had a lot of those players. The only one out of all those players you mentioned, Shaq and, and Kobe and Jordan and Pippen, the only one who won a championship without Phil Jackson was Shaquille O'Neal. And that was with Dwayne Pat Wade Riley. and Pat Riley. Mm -hmm. That's right. And that was one. And that's it. Well, listen, Everyone else needed Phil to win championships just like he needed them. Which is why as I a would, coach. Which is why I would say again, to reiterate and close it, Phil Jackson deserves all the credit in the world as an 11-time champion, even though those, highlight, those things I highlighted about MJ Pippen and beyond are accurate. But what it points to is the level, is what he is, as what he appears to be, rather, as a person. Because, again, the writing of the book, the things you were willing to say, and then on top of it all, you become an executive, but you're trying to coach from the stands. He's trying to get rid of himself, I claim. I mean, obviously mm -hmm. both, but I, more one or the other, he's trying to get rid of himself. What are you saying? Agree? Yes. He's trying to get rid of himself. Yes. Right? He's yes. trying to get himself Wait, fired. But, but along the way, he don't mind getting rid of Melo, too. Sure. That's how yeah. bad he is. Sure. Fair enough. Well, you're leaving, We're going to continue this franchise? conversation, but I sure. want to bring in somebody else's take. So sure. this is obviously just the latest public critique from Jackson of Anthony, who 